My name is TJ, and for the last couple days, I've been making a little list of every single Call of Duty mod available in Contractors. I mean, it started off as a little list, but it soon consumed my entire being. <laughs> this is a lot. So let's go over every goddamn Call of Duty mod in Contractors in chronological order as of June. 2024. Also, I'll tell you my favorites at the end. Okay, let's go. Now, I gotta be real with you guys. I can't show gameplay of every single map with the list being this large. If I even just like dedicate 30 seconds to each mod, the video is gonna be like a hundred minutes long. I don't want to force you to sit through that. I don't want to force myself to sit through that. So I'll simply show you some images of the maps and afterwards I'll do a little recap with the most popular ones. Starting with the early games, we get Moscow from Call of Duty 2. Next up, we get Troina, which is a map from Big Red 1, if I'm not mistaken. Next up, some classic Call of Duty 4 nostalgia. We get Shipment, Kill House, Lock, Crash, Vacant, Wetwork, Showdown, Crossfire, and even Overgrown makes an appearance. World at War is next. We get three maps of the past. We get Castle, Roundhouse, and Downfall. Modern Warfare 2 fans will be happy to hear that we get Terminal, Skid Row, High Rise, Wasteland, Derail, Quarry, Afghan, Estate, we get Subbase, we get Favela, I'm talking about Scrapyard, I'm talking about Salvage, and of course, Rust. Moving over to Black Ops 1, we get Summit, Firing Range, and of course you get like 17 different types in Nuketown. Modern Warfare 3 offers Dome, Erosion, and Lookout. Black Ops 2 now, we get Standoff, Meltdown, Raid, Slums, Yemen, and of course we get Hijacked, bro. Skipping Black Ops 3 and going straight into Black Ops 4, we have Icebreaker and Hacienda. Now time for Modern Warfare 19. We get Hardhat, Stack, Anaya Incursion, Kandor Hideout, Shoot House, King, Docks, Pine, Gulag Showers, Soldal Harbor, and Hackney Yard. Black Ops Cold War is next. We get Rush, Crossroads, Satellite, Miami Strike, we get Diesel, Apocalypse, and Express. Moving over to Mobile Cod now, we get Saloon and Reclaim. And those are all the maps we got, so let's dive deeper into some of the iconic maps you'll see on public servers most often. Shipment, originally from COD 4. There are multiple versions of this map, but the COD 4 version is best in my opinion. It's the one I grew up with, so I don't, I don't really think I need to explain this map, do I? It's Shipment. Next up, Nuketown. If you've ever played Black Ops gun game knife only, you'll definitely know this map. Multiple versions are available, but mostly you're gonna see the Black Ops 1 version being used for things like sniper lobbies or just 1v1s in general. So yeah, Nuketown. Number 3, Terminal. A unique airport setting that's home to one of the most controversial Call of Duty campaign missions ever, I think. There aren't any NPCs to mow down in VR lobbies, but still, this seems to be a fan favorite for sure. Number four, High Rise. We've all seen this map a thousand times in montages, and the start of each round has snipers line up collaterals and kids going crazy in their mic. Classic Call of Duty. And lastly, speaking of classic Call of Duty, Rust. I don't have to explain what this map is. This is a place where boys became men. You had an argument with someone at school that day? Rust is where you would settle it. Also, if you use steady aim on your sniper rifle, you're 
All right, now with all the maps sorted out, let's move on to the loadouts. Starting off, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare Remastered loadout. Honestly, for me, it doesn't get any better than this AK. And I mean, pair this loadout with some Call of Duty 4 maps, you'll be sucked into the past instantly. Secondly, World at War loadout. I know Contractors has a World War II loadout, and I did play World at War for a while, but not as much as COD 2 and COD 4. Still, a nicely varied World War II themed loadout that sounds great and feels slick in your hands. Also, grand ping. <clears throat> Moving on, Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. I've already showed off this loadout a bit in a couple previous videos. I absolutely love the FAL, or the FAL, whatever you want to call it, the Intervention, the Barrett, AA-12s are here. You have to check out this loadout, it's totally sweet. The next loadout, Black Ops 1. This one, along with the World at War loadout, were actually made to accommodate for zombie mode, I think, which I'll talk about in a little bit. The Galil is here, the Commando is here, it's, it's basically everything you want is here, okay? Enjoy it. The next loadout is Call of Duty Ghosts. Not the most popular Call of Duty ever, let's face it, you know? But still, the Honey Badger looks like a little snack. They have skins in there. I, I have a special place for that gun in my heart though, since I used to have the Airsoft version. You know, good times. Up next is the Black Ops 2 loadout. This loadout has been in open beta for a while now, but it does include things like the AN-94 and the Ballista, so all solid picks from Black Ops 2. Next loadout, Mono Warfare 2019. This isn't one I pick really often because it doesn't have a lot of guns. But if you are a fan of Modern Warfare 2019, I'm sure you'll find something in there to enjoy. If you really want to enjoy Modern Warfare 2019's loadouts, I suggest you use the bolt action loadouts. If you want to snipe or just, you know, play iron sight bolt actions, this is definitely the one for you. There's more than enough snipers and marksman rifles to pick from here. If you're thinking of hosting some Call of Duty lobbies, I'd stick to the Modern Warfare 2 loadout because this seems to be a mod that just doesn't get any hate. Now those are all the loadouts we have so far, which means I'm moving on to the last kind of Call of Duty mod. Call of Duty Zombies. Now to be clear, I'm only gonna mention actual Call of Duty Zombies maps here, so... No Dust 2, no Minecraft maps, no Bikini Bottom, alright? Call of Duty only. Starting off where it all began, Nacht der Untoten. After finishing the World at War campaign, we all got greeted by a creepy laughing sound and then this map. If I'm being honest, this is THE Zombies map for me. Like, the only time in my life where I really played Zombies was in World at War. After that, I didn't even consider Call of Duty a zombie game, because, I don't know, I had a computer, I, I'd much rather just play Left 4 Dead or something, but yeah, moving on to the next map, still World at War, Shinonuma. I've played this one mostly in VR now, and always solo, but I did see this map in a video from Pavlov, I think, that was a, a long time ago. And I was just hoping contractors would get the same treatment and, you know, luckily the modders that work on these maps are very talented and do it for, for love, basically. And it shows, I mean, you can, you can taste the virtual love in the air. <laughs> Next map, Kino der Toten. Black Ops 1 basically took what World at War made and absolutely ran with it. Like, if... If you tell those annoying quest kiddos that you have Kino installed, it's like showing your little cousin Ricky that you have Snake on your Nokia. So for those who didn't have a console or a PC but did have a Nintendo DS, there's also a zombies map here for you guys. It's called House. I don't have a lot of experience with it other than that one video I did. It looks cool, looks very simple. It's not my thing though. 
And I think those are all the official maps. We do get some odd modded maps that are still Call of Duty related, but they're not really zombies maps. But still, they need to be mentioned. We, there's still Nuketown zombies, Shipment zombies, and Gulag zombies. I've covered these in a previous video. They were just as fun as they are in normal multiplayer. I think I can speak for everyone when I say that these maps are meant to be played with friends. Playing with randoms is just gonna have you run from reviving one kid over to reviving the next kid. But yeah, there you have it. Those are all the Call of Duty Zombies maps. To kind of wrap up the video, here are my personal top 5 favorite mods you should try. Number 5. High Rise. This map offers a unique collateral opportunity at the start, so yeah, it's, it's definitely fun to hit that. Number 4. Nuketown. Do I really have to explain this one? It's a small map, quick respawns. This, this is Call of Duty! Number 3. Shipment. Because why would you want to play in a wide open map if you can play inside of a mailbox, okay? Number 2. Crash. Call of Duty 4 obviously has a special place in my heart, so this one will always be at the top of my list. Yeah. Good map, good map. And for my number one mod that you should definitely try, Rust. Even though I think Call of Duty 4 is the best COD ever made, Modern Warfare 2 had some sweet, sweet maps. Terminal would have been a good choice here too, because it's very popular, but honestly, Rust is the most recognizable map in Call of Duty history ever. And that's why it's number one. As for the loadouts, it really depends on what you want to do. I love sniping, I love bolt action rifles, so I'm gonna go with the bolt action modern warfare loadout. But the classic MW2 loadout reigns king probably across all the servers. There's just too many classic guns to mention. The sound design alone is gonna have you drooling from the mouth, I promise. But maybe you disagree, you know? Maybe I'm wrong, or maybe I missed something that you really enjoy? Let me know down in the comments, and I'll be sure to respond to you ASAP. I hope this video helped you out, or maybe you just needed something to watch while pooping at work. Whatever your butthole is doing right now, I appreciate you stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.